Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 9.1, the surface area of prisms. Just a reminder, you can use calculators for this unit, and today we're going to be writing down seven things in our notes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to make sure of is how to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. But basically what you're going to be doing here is just finding all the areas of the faces and adding them all together. An easy way to find the surface area of a rectangular prism is this formula right here. 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. This is what you're going to copy in your notes. Um, you don't need to copy the whole entire thing of this slide. This is the main um, thing that is important. So for rectangular prisms, make sure you copy down this formula. Let's go ahead and pause the video now. And once you're done, click play to go on. So I'm going to show you how to do one, and then you're going to do two on your own. So what I'm going to take is still my formula, 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And notice here, none of these numbers are labeled, so that's what you get to do. All you have to do is just pick one number or one letter. So I'm going to say 5 is L, four, or sorry, 3 is W, and 6 is H. It really doesn't matter if it's representing the length, the width, or the height, just as long as one number is L, one number is W, and one is H. Then I'm going to plug my numbers in. 2 times 5 times 3 plus 2 times 5 times 6 plus 2 times 3 times 6. Okay, 2 times 5 times 3, that's going to give me 30. 2 times 5 times 6, that's going to give me 60. And then 2 times 3 times 6 will give me 36. And when I add them all together, I get 126 inches squared. Okay, very easy. So you're going to try this next one on your own. Let's go ahead and pause the video so you can try number two. And once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, I've gone ahead and written out my formula. I'm going to say two is L, three is W, and four is H. So that means I'll do two times two times three plus two times two times four plus two times three times four. Two times two times three, that's 12. 2 times 2 times 4 is 16, and 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. Adding these all together is going to give me 52 feet squared. How did you do? Go ahead and try number 3 as well. Again, let's pause it right here, try it, and once you're done, click play. Okay, I'm going to say 5 is L, 8 is W, and this other 8 is H. Again, I have 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Um, I should have done 2 times 5 times 8, and then 2 times 5 times 8 again, because that's the height again, and then 2 times 8 times 8. <clears throat> 2 times 5 times 8, both of these are going to give me 80, and then 2 times 8 times 8 is 128. I'm going to add all these together and get 288 meters squared. The next part of the notes we're going to talk about is any type of other prism. And granted, this will work for your rectangular prisms as well, except for rectangular prisms, we just had that nice formula. Let's go and just copy this down real quick. This works, this works for all prisms. As long as you can find the area of the bases and the area of the lateral faces, which are just the outsides or the sides that are not the base, um, and you add those together, then you can find the surface area. Go ahead and pause real quick and write down what I circled in red. And then once you're done, click play. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to show you how we are going to find the surface area of triangular prisms. One thing I like to do first is just draw the shape. So I have two triangles. Those are my bases. And then I have three rectangles. Okay. And then I just have to look for the numbers that go with each. Notice I've got the triangle up here. And what I'm looking for are the numbers that are touching this um, right angle. I don't see it up here, but if I look down here, I've got a 4 by 3 triangle. The other things I need to look for are the measurements for my rectangles. Notice this rectangle here in front, the 4 by 6. I've got a rectangle here on this side, that's a 3 by 6. And then the rectangle in the back is going to be a 5 by 6. Okay, then I'm going to find the area of each one. 3 times 4 divided by 2 for triangles is going to give me 6. So this one will also be a 6 because they're the same. 
A 4 by 6 is 24, a 3 by 6 is 18, and a 5 by 6 is 30. What I'm going to do now is just add all these together. I have 6 plus 6 plus 24 plus 18 plus 30, and I'm going to get 84 meters squared. Okay? So it's very easy. The only maybe difficult thing is just finding the numbers that go with the different shapes. And this is also kind of like what we did in Chapter 8 with Lesson 8.4, finding the area of composite figures. You're still doing the same thing here, just finding the area of multiple figures all at once and then adding them together. Here's the one that you're going to try, so let's go ahead and try number 5 in our notes. Again, let's pause it, try it, and then click play when you're ready to check. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is just draw all my shapes. I have two triangles and three rectangles. My triangle is up here. It's a 5 by 12 for both top and bottom. This rectangle here in the front, that can be a 13 by 3. The rectangle in the back can be a 12 by 3. And the rectangle here on this side can be a 5 by 3. 5 times 12 divided by 2 is going to give me 30 for each of these triangles. Okay. Um, and then for my rectangles, the 13 by 3 is 39, 12 by 3 is 36, and then 5 by 3 is 15. So all i got to do now is just take my calculator and add these together. 30 and 30 plus 39 plus 36 plus 15 is going to give me 150 meters squared. How did you do? Again, let's go ahead and try this one. Make sure that you're drawing your shapes and labeling them too to find the area, the surface area of the entire prism. Pause it and try it. Click play when you're ready to check. Okay, so again, starting off drawing our shapes. And then we've got our three rectangles. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we've got a three by four triangle. And then this rectangle here on the side, that's a 4x4. Four four. On the bottom is a 3x4. And on this side here is going to be a, let's see, a 5x4. Yep. So 3 times 4 divided by 2, again, that's going to give us 6s for the triangles. 4x4 four four is 16, 3x4 is 12, and 5x4 is 20. So I have 6 plus 6 plus 16 plus 12 and plus another 20 is going to give me 60 centimeters squared. How did you do? <clears throat> the last one, you're just going to tell me which prism has a greater surface area. Both of these are rectangular prisms, and technically letter A is called a cube. Um, so just notice all the numbers are the same. Let's go ahead and pause the video right now to try number 7. Once you're done, click play. All right, what I've gone ahead and done here is just set up the problem. Over here in your cube, Notice that each um, face is the same, and since there are six faces, I can just find the area of one face, which is 9 by 9, and then find that it would be 81, and then multiply 81 by 6. 81 times 6 is going to give me 486 centimeters squared. Over here, I did my um, formula, 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. Okay, my 2 times 5 times 15, that's going to give me 150. My 2 times 5 times 7 is going to give me 70, and the other one, 2 times 15 times 7, is 210. I'm going to add 150, 70, and 210 together, and I just get 430 oops, centimeters squared. So letter A has the bigger surface area. Okay, That's going to conclude our notes for today. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.